The Earthly Paradise by William Morris is an epic poem. It is a lengthy collection of retellings of various myths and legends from Greece and Scandinavia. It was begun in 1868 and several later volumes followed until 1870. The Earthly Paradise was generally well received by reviewers, according to one study it established Morris's reputation as one of the foremost poets of his day. Morris uses a frame story concerning a group of medieval wanderers searching for a land of everlasting life. After much disillusionment they discover a surviving colony of Greeks with whom they exchange stories. The poem is divided into twelve sections, each section representing a month of the year and containing two tales told in verse, drawn largely from classical mythology or medieval legends, including the Icelandic sagas. All of Morris's subsequent books were published as By the Author of the Earthly Paradise. Topic. Story The prologue introduces a company of Norsemen who have fled the pestilence and set sail to seek the fabled earthly paradise, across the western sea where none grow old. Not having succeeded in their quest, they have returned, shriveled, bent, and gray, after lengthy wanderings abroad, to a nameless city in a distant sea, where the worship of the ancient Greek gods has not died out. In this hospitable city they spend the rest of their lives. Twice each month they participate in a feast at which a tale is told, alternately, by one of the city elders and one of the wanderers. The former tell tales on classical subjects, and the latter draw their tales from Norse and other medieval sources. Thus, of the 24 stories, 12 are Greek and classical and 12 are medieval or romantic. Each pair of stories corresponds with one of the 12 months, the first two being told in January, the second two in February, and so on. Thus the long poem is neatly partitioned into twelve books with interpolated prologues and epilogues in the form of lyrics about the progressive changes in nature. Topic. Form The earthly paradise is written in different forms. William Morris used rhyme royal, heroic couplet or iambic tetrameter. This is an example of seven-line rhyme royal with rhyme scheme A B A B B C C. O oh love, this morn when the sweet nightingale had so long finished all he had to say that thou hadst slept, and sleep had told his tale and midst a peaceful dream had stolen away in fragrant dawning of the first of May didst thou see aught? Didst thou hear voices sing Air to the risen sun the bells gone ring. Topic Notes Topic Bibliography The Earthly Paradise A Poem by William Morris Review Introduction to the 2002 edition by Florence Booz. Topic: External links. Scan of the Earthly Paradise, Parts 1 and 2. Scan of the Earthly Paradise, Parts 3. Transcription by the William Morris Archive.